morning everyone today I've decided to come down to Buds Beach Surface Paradise on the Gold Coast uh, to go kayaking uh, something I've never done before so I thought I will go for a quick paddle and share it with everyone here All right. got the kayak already set up so let's go So this is um, something different for me. Usually I like to go uh, paddling where there's lots of nature, but I thought it might be cool to get a different perspective, different point of view, different location for sunrise. Because it's dark, I always equip myself with uh, a little bit more safety here. Um, that little red light there. And also I think it's important to tell people where you're going. So in the case of an emergency, obviously if you go missing, they know where to look. Alright, let's go paddle up towards the buildings a little bit more and um, see what else we can find. So another thing I should probably mention is that um, it's uh, outgoing tide, so it's a little bit difficult to paddle into it. Wow, this will make a cool photo. under the bridge now. This is, um, I think this is the bridge to Chevron Island and then Surface Paradise. I should have left earlier uh, because the current is actually quite strong. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get right up close to where I want to be, but it's still pretty good, it's still very nice. Another one to uh, tick off my list. What the heck is that? It's like some sort of jet boat that's uh, 
up on some pontoons. Yep. It says jet boat, so I assume I was correct. That's cool. Pavilion. I tell you what. It's going to be easy getting back if the current's still like this. Oh yeah, currently I'm at the Chevron Renaissance. So, very cool. Alright, so... What I might do is I might just float my way back and head down to Narrow Neck because I actually did come as far as I wanted to go, so, which is good. Hopefully we can get some nice sunrise photos too. beautiful black swans. Now if you can see them just straight ahead. There's, there's some young uh, young swans there, some signet. I'm not going to try to get too close otherwise I might regret that. Drifting down. Very, very leisurely paddle all the way down. Probably very hard to see because of the uh, um, how wide the lens is. Makes everything look really small, but um, yeah, that sun reflection over in the distance that looks amazing. There's a few sun reflections actually, so it's just not quite high enough for me to take photos with yet. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more content like this, just uh, subscribe and uh, click the like button. Comment if you would like, if you've had any experiences down here kayaking or if there's anywhere you would like me to explore. I'm always up for, a, for an adventure, so yeah, let me know. Oh, 
I think straight ahead, perhaps that's the bridge over to Narrowneck. It's a little ways to go. No license required. Jeez. Oh, I don't know if I trust some people here. Surely there's got to be a restriction of some sort, maybe car license or something. Wow. All right, so the sunshine is uh, finally starting to happen. So there's a little bit of calm water here and the sun's just coming up over to the right. Looks quite nice. I don't know. Don't know if this camera will do the uh, image any justice though. and there's a wind blowing and there's an outgoing tide so oh, this is where you really have to engage the pull muscles and twist your body otherwise yeah, it won't do much you'll end up drifting backwards And I'm guessing where I was, was a bit more wind protected over near where I started. Heaps of fish out here. A boat came past, so this is just a little bit of weight from that. All those swans there, just in front. Please don't destroy me, swans.
really wish they would uh, stay and go away at the same time. They make me a bit nervous because they do attack. But these guys seem a little bit placid, so that's a good thing. But they're floating right up near where my car is. I think they're just coming to say hello, hopefully. <laughs> Barely got any water in this thing and just load it back up. Okay, the hard part. So uh, I've decided not to get coffee, instead just go straight home before uh, the, uh, the holiday traffic gets out because um, it gets very busy along the M1 and it might eventually take a few hours to get back if I leave it too late. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. So um, yeah, this was certainly an interesting one, Bud's Beach. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So we'll uh, see you all next time. Thank you.